What was that first experience like for you uh, coming out on the field the other day and playing uh, in front of all the cowbells? That was amazing, man. <laughs> I was really in shock just looking around. I, was, I caught myself a couple of times just up in the crowd, just blown away because I, I haven't felt anything like that in my six years playing college football. So that was definitely amazing. Everybody, everybody showed out. What was kind of your assessment when you got in the, the room with Coach Coop and y'all looked at the film, the tight ends, the job that y'all did in, in game one? Yeah, you know, uh, we had a specific job, you know, and I, every play goes as according to plan, but I think we played hard, played physical, um, definitely tried to dominate every rep. Um, of course, there's stuff to clean up, and we got that cleaned up this weekend, so I'm just looking forward to this week, another opportunity. What have you seen from Arizona State so far? Yeah, they're um, definitely a completely different team from last year from the film. Um, I feel like they've gotten a lot better. Uh, they like to fly around. Um, they're not you know, always the biggest, but they definitely like to use their speed and get around blocks. And, and they definitely 11 halves of the ball every play. So we have to play fast and match that for sure. You got a late kickoff, long long road trip, longer than most of you guys are used to. What what specific things are you doing as a group to prepare for, for those things and you go to a place that might even be hotter than Mississippi? Yeah, Coach Lev's already started harping on that. We've already been hydrating, uh, make sure we're getting rest every single day. Um, you know, we leave on Thursday, so we already talked about on the plane, make sure you're hydrating the entire plane right there. Make sure when we get there, you get accumulated as quickly as you can. And then, you know, just not just staying together, make sure we're focused, make sure you keep the goal first and execute the game plan. What were your thoughts about the run? Obviously, y'all play a key role in the run game, too. What were your thoughts about that Saturday? Yes, sir. Um, we had a couple big runs that springed off of our block, so we're definitely proud of that, and we want to continue that. We have more plays this week that are going to kind of, you know, continue that idea. But, um, you know, whether it's run the run in the pass game, we're willing to do everything. So that's our job in this team. I talked to um, Coach yesterday about Saidu. He, he recovered two of the three fumbles. Yeah. He just seemed to be around the plate. How important is that for your room for you guys to be around the play and active beyond just catching the football. Yeah, it's huge. Just like I said, like they play fast, so we have to match that. So Sadu is one of the hardest working guys on our team. He's always playing fast. He's always trying to be the first guy here, the first guy there. So whether the ball is in our hands or not, chasing the ball, make sure we're around the ball, making sure we're giving blocks, springing touchdown blocks. It's going to be huge this week. We need every opportunity we can get. I'm sorry. How do, how do you feel like you guys handled tempo in your first game as a team? I know you ran some tempo, but some of the time you didn't. So. What can we expect when we move forward with tempo with you guys? Yeah, it's kind of funny. We all felt like it was slower in the game than we've been doing in practice. You know, there's no rest in practice most of the time. So we're used to just flying, flying, flying. But with all the uh, uh, commercial timeouts and the refs setting the ball, it, it kind of slowed down a little bit. But we're a tempo offense. That's what Lev's always been. And we're going to continue that and make sure we're, we're pushing the pace this weekend. Mississippi State has brought you and your brother back together to play. I mean, how cool is that dynamic for you for your final season of college football? Yeah, it's a dream come true. Like I couldn't ask for anything better. So when the opportunity arrives, like we couldn't we couldn't uh, pass on it. Um, it's great having him here every day. He's my best friend. So just him coaching me up, me coaching him up, and seeing his growth and his progress has been great. Texting your boys from Vanderbilt after. Yeah, man, proud of those dudes, man. And I, I'm really proud of how they come out there and handle business. You know, they get a lot of heat over there, so just them able to answer those questions was great. What's the competitive uh, nature of you and your brother and how y'all attack each practice or, or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ask him if he's better than me, anything he's going to say yes. So <laughs> it's the same thing here. We've always been, he's only two and a half years younger than me, so it's always been battling each other since we were little. You can ask anybody, we're always playing together, playing against each other. So it's great, man. Like, whenever I have a good catch, he's like, oh, I'm going to get a better one. So that's, that's what's always been. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.